so that's the first one. Um, there will be hopefully uh, something a bit more practical during track B about that. Uh, but for the time being, this is just to present um, a tool which is using OGC standards, so a slightly different type of the, from those we saw uh, sometime. Uh, Planet Server is just a part of a bigger project which had a couple of iterations. Well, it had one iteration, and the one that is just starting is being kicked off soon. And uh, it deals with the large amount of raster data um, and uh, accessing, the, accessing and analyzing those data with SQL-like uh, queries. Um, the tool or the interface that is particularly relevant for, uh, for this uh, service, uh, which is again a web service uh, of the OGC ones, uh, and, uh, of the, among the OGC web services is WPS, which stands for Web Coverage Processing Services. Uh, it's slightly different from uh, WMS when you're streaming maps uh, or from WCS when you're actually downloading data because you're querying and you're extracting only very small subsets. Um, and you can do actually computation, similar to what we saw this morning uh, on a desktop tool. Um, there is a couple of uh, um, uh, client and use cases, particularly for the uh, analysis of hyperspectral cubes, which are very complex and are typically heavy uh, in terms of, and uh, large in terms of file size, uh, but one could use uh, those OGC um, interfaces to access them and extract information from those cubes. For example, a single spectrum or a single color uh, band or co color combinations without the need of downloading the old. Uh, similarly, and this is something that is not going to be demoed, uh, but uh, I will provide details later in the track, uh, uh, one can also cross boundaries between web services uh, and desktop application the same way that you have seen recently with uh, WMS uh, and doing, uh, this is just a prototype, uh, uh, remote WCPS queries based on Python and essentially you will recognize this, this uh, style. My, my, Mario was showing it before with matplotlib. This is simply matplotlib plot that is extracting spectra that are resulting from a remote query on a server from a desktop client, as well as you will do from a web client. And in this respect, uh, with similar to what has been uh, mentioned yesterday by Peter, this work actually done by Federico Cantini within the first iteration of the project and using a similar technology, in this case not using root WCPS, but array database to store radar grams and simulation in a database and possibly converting them and subsetting them. So these are not just mm, images, but they are like uh, generated from a um, database query. How many minutes do I have? I think that's two, oh, that's fine. So just to mention, these are the, uh, backup slides, but just to mention what you can do, um, you can make, of course, shortcuts, for example, to complex uh, hyperspectral summary products, band apps, or calculation, and uh, essentially just send a query, get back a result from the server, and then, for example, loading it as a PNG or JTIF, either on your web service, so uh, on a WebGIS, or on a desktop one. Same as spectra collection is a relatively uh, easy task. Once the data are queried, uh, uh, one can get out um, an ASCII or a JSON, some sort of file, and plot it with the library of choice. It can be within a WebJS or within another tool.